Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Vertus here and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 Side Scroller series. In today's video we are going to be working on the main menu for the game. So if you take a quick look at my screen here you can see I've got my main menu and I've got a couple of different buttons. And at the moment all of this is inside of Photoshop and what we're going to be focusing on in today's video is getting this from Photoshop and then taking it into Unreal Engine ready for us to start adding the functionality for level select, get started and obviously close closing the game as well. So if you guys do want access to these files, once again you can go ahead and download them from the download link in the description below. Everything that you need is going to be in there. You've got this Photoshop document and you've also got the background pile files and everything else that I've exported. So to get started, go ahead and jump into your game. There's a couple of things that we need to do. First things first, we need to go ahead and import that background image into the engine. So there's a couple of different ways you can do this. Once again, for me, it's just going to be as simple as dragging and dropping and bringing everything in there. The file that you're after is in here and it should be called main menu. So if we just go ahead and have a quick look for this main menu and then we've got main menu PNG file, which is the one that we're after. So if we just go ahead and drag and drop this into the content browser, I'm just going to move this off to the side of the screen and then simply drag it in just like that. Give that a couple of seconds and it will be inside the engine. Once we've done that, we've now got to go ahead and create a blueprint class that's going to hold all of the information and the placement of our buttons and all of that cool stuff. So right click in the content browser and create a blueprint class. Make sure that is um, set to a UI widget. So from all classes, just set UI widget. Or alternatively, you can just do it the proper way. Just right click, user interface, and then widget blueprint. Call this main menu uh, for now. Okay, so main menu HUD maybe? No, not main menu HUD, main menu screen even. So once we've done that, go ahead and open it up. Give that a couple of seconds, and now we've got to put a few things in there. So first things first, we've got to take a quick look at this main menu of mine, and we've got to break it down into the different elements that we're going to need. So first things first, we've got the background image, and then on top of that, we've got three buttons, get started, level select, and exit game. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Unreal Engine again, and then from here, I'm going to add in my background image to start with. And for the size in the details panel, just go ahead and set that to 920 by 1080. And then just center that in the screen. Once you've done that, go ahead and make sure you set your anchor point to fill the whole screen over here. And then for offset top and bottom, make sure all of that stuff is set to zero and that will perfectly center it. From here, if you right click from the appearance of the brush, if you go ahead and set this to main menu now, uh, set this to main menu you can see that we've now got our background in place and that is looking great we've got three different buttons so we want to make sure that we go and add these into our screen so one two and three and then once we've done that we're just going to give these a name so the first one I'm going to call this uh, get started btn so get started btn just so that we can easily access it later when we're doing all of the blueprint scripts and we know how to reference it second one is going to be called level select btn once again and then the third one is going to be called um, exit game btn once we've done this, we've now got to start setting up this appearance. Now, the best way to do this is if you just use images for this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump inside of here and I'm going to quickly export out the images. If you guys are downloading everything from the download link in the description, you will have everything that you need uh, to do all of this stuff. So I'm going to quickly export this out. So export as and my phone goes off so give that a second and I'm just going to export this out whenever you're exporting out stuff for a main menu like this I do advise that you export it out as a PNG make sure you merge all of your layers as well so you can see get started here I've gone and got that uh, you know, I've got to merge the two together. Before I do this, I'm also going to quickly make sure I change this, uh, the color of this so it matches the other ones as well. What I was trying to do there with the orange look is simply show you what it's going to look like when it's hovered, but we'll be doing that with a tint inside of the engine. 
So once again, merge these layers. From there, just go ahead and export as, give it a couple of seconds to load up, and then we just export this as a uh, get started BTN. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and go through and do the same thing with the rest. Select them both, rasterize them, merge them, and then export it. So let's just give that a go. Export as, and this one's the level select. So export all, level select BTN. And one last time. So merge layers, and then from here, what I'm going to do is export. And then once we've done this, all we've got to do is go back into our content browser and then just export all of these images back out. So export and then from here, exit game BTN. That's perfect. Once we've done that, I'm going to go ahead and close my Photoshop and I'm going to save the changes. Yes, yes. Okay, cool. So back inside of here let's go ahead and import those images now so we've got a couple of different button files in here level select button and we've also got get started button and then we've also got the exit game button simply click those in your file manager and then drop them into the content browser once we've done that we've now got to go ahead and set up the appearance on our three buttons so the top one over here if you just scroll up to the top and under style we need to set the normal image and for this this is going to be get started BTN and we've got to make sure these margins are set down to zero. Now just go ahead and do the same for the rest, normal, and then for this one it's level select BTN margin zero. And then for the third one, this is going to be exit game. So from the drop down, just go ahead and choose exit game button margin zero. Now there's a couple of things that we need to do. First things first, they are a little bit smaller than we want them to be. So go ahead and make these a little bit bigger and then just go ahead and place them on the center line just like that. Now it can take a little while for you to get the, you know, the right sizing, the right position and everything. So if you do get the size that you like on one of these, just go ahead and grab the size X and Y and then just copy that. That way they are going to be the same size. So I've done that one, that one, so let's change this one. Just copy and pasting the X value, and then from here I'm going to grab the Y value, Control C to copy that, and then I'm just going to go ahead and paste that into all of the rest of them, and there you are, looking great. So, just place these on here, that's great, and then just do that. And now what we need to do is we need to set up the hover now so that it actually goes red when we put the player's mouse over it. So with get started button, what we got to do, once again, go down to style and then hovered, we're just going to use the same image. So just from the drop down, just type in get started. And then from here, set the margin to zero. But what we're going to be doing differently this time is we're actually going to give it a slightly red tint. So you can see it looks slightly red and that just gives the player a little bit of feedback when they've got their mouse over that button. And what I'm going to do is I'm also going to copy these values here. Uh, I'm actually just going to set these all the way up to 1 there, 0, 0, and 0, okay, maybe not that, so 0, 0, 0.5, I don't want it to be too strong, 0 0.2, no, so what I'm after is red, I'm going to set this to 0 0.5, maybe not 0 0.5, so 1, 1, and then 1.5, let's try that, so maybe Let's try that values. So that looks good. It's sl slightly red. I'm going to turn this up a little bit more. Maybe set this to 10. See how that looks. Looking good, but it's just still not quite as strong as I'd like it to be. So I'm just going to turn this all the way up. I'm just going to copy these values here. So we've got 1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, and 1. So go through and do the same thing for the rest of these now. Get rid of uh, normal. Go over to hovered. And then this one's going to be level select. And then margin down to zero and then do the same thing over here margin down whoops make sure you don't change anything accidentally like I did margin down to zero and then this is going to be exit game button all we're going to do is we're going to move it over to the red not too strong because we don't want it to be you know nasty so we're just going to adjust that that's one two and three so one more tint 
there you go and just press OK and that is all good. Now we still need to add the functionality for all of these buttons but for the most part we have got our main menu set up, we need to add the functionality and we also need to get all of this displayed on the screen. That is going to be something we're going to be focusing on over the next few videos. So once again guys, thanks for being awesome, keep creating and I will see you in the next video, goodbye.